September 20th, St. Eustachius and his family martyrs. Eustachius was a distinguished and very wealthy officer of the Roman army under Emperor Trajan in the beginning of the second century. He practiced generous charity to the poor, although he had not yet perceived the errors of idolatry. One day, while out hunting a deer, the animal suddenly stood immobile before him in the light of a hilltop, and he perceived between his horns a luminous cross. On the cross was the image of the crucified Savior, and a voice said to him, I am the Christ, whom you honor without knowing it. The alms you give to the poor have reached me. Like St. Paul, he fell from his horse and remained inert for a time. Coming to himself, he said interiorly, What is this voice I have heard? You who speak to me, who are you that I may believe in you? And the Lord told him interiorly that he was the creator of the light, of the seasons, of man and all things visible, that he had suffered to save the human race, died, been buried, but had risen on the third day. This was sufficient, and the officer went home to fulfill the prescription he had received to be baptized with his wife and two young sons. His spouse had received a similar revelation at the same time as he, and they all went to the Christian authority of the region in secret to be baptized the same night. Like Job before him, in a short time he lost all his possessions. He had been advised beforehand, however, by the Lord, that he was not to allow any thought of blasphemy to arise in his heart amid the sufferings that were awaiting him. He prayed for strength and retired from the region after the calamities with his wife and children. When, by a series of unforeseeable accidents, his wife and children were also taken from him, and he believed the children dead, he was close to despair and wished his life might end. But the warning of the Lord returned to his mind, and he entered into the service of a landowner of a village. He remained for fifteen years in this occupation. During this time, his loved ones were well and safe, all spared in the perilous circumstances which had removed them from his sight, but separated each one like himself from the others. Now in those days, the empire was suffering greatly from ravages of the barbarians and was sinking under the assaults. The emperor Trajan had Eustatius sought out, and when he was found, had him clothed in splendid garments to give him command over the troops he intended to send against the invaders. During the celebration that accompanied his return, he related to the emperor all that had occurred to him. When the troops were being assembled, his own sons were conscripted. Seeing them, he noticed them as young men taller than most and of great nobility of bearing and countenance. He kept them near him without yet recognizing them. One of the two, while on bivouac, near the very house of his own mother, who, like Eustatius, had taken employment in the garden of a landowner, related the confused memories of his childhood to his companion. Suddenly, the two brothers recognized one another and embraced in an effusion of joy. Their mother had chanced to overhear them, and reflecting on what she heard, became certain that they were her own sons. She went to the captain of the campaign to inquire about them and immediately recognized him not wishing to startle him she began to relate her story identifying herself as the wife of a certain placidus which was eustatius's name before he was baptized one can only imagine the sentiments of the captain on hearing this narration the reunion which followed and the prayers of thanksgiving sent up to god by the family and also the troops who joined them in their joys and prayers returning to rome victorious eustatius was received in triumph and greatly honored but when commanded to sacrifice during the celebration to the false gods he refused the infuriated emperor adrian for trajan had died ordered him his wife and children to be exposed to a starved lion but instead of harming these servants of god the beast came up to them lowered its head and left the arena the emperor more furious still caused the martyrs to be shut up in a brazen bull under which a fire was to be kindled that they might be roasted to death saint eustatius prayed aloud and thanked god asking him who had reunited them to cause that their lives end at the same time so that they might be received together by him into the happiness of his presence they expired but neither their bodies nor even their hair were injured they were found the next day fully intact and at first it was believed they were still alive many believed in christ through this final miracle which to us seems perhaps less miraculous than the story of their existence while alive a church in honor of the martyrs still exists in rome called 
Saint Eustasius in Thermes. Saint Eustasius is the patron against fire, difficult situations, for firefighters, hunters, hunting, and huntsmen.